Bro, he's for just what? a peaceful person. For what? what? Yeah. He's, I didn't he's just anything. in roller skates. Get over here. You didn't tell me to move. I was over here. He's not doing anything. Out your oh, I'm not doing anything. Your ride is on the way, so stay out of trouble. I can hear the ride on the way. We're literally oh, waiting for her ride. I'm waiting listen, for her ride. I want to document this. I'm a member of the press here. What charges are they being held for, sir? What are the charges, sir? What are the charges, sir? Can I have an officer speak with me, please? Are you the commanding officer, sir? What are the charges? How are you doing? Hello, sir. You are the commanding officer, correct? That's what Ebert tells me. <laughs> yes, good. sir. I am a member of the press here. We have our LLC. We've been active for two years. The and Convo Couch? Yes, sir. Never heard of that one. Yeah. You yeah. sound like you feel like you've been running? Independent media. Yeah. <laughs> I was running. Been carrying all this equipment. Yeah. I'm oh, curious. I, I know. I know. I'm wearing a lot of junk too. I'm curious what happened here. Um, oh, we're just IDing people. A lot of people from Oregon and other places that just come in here not to peacefully protest, just to stir the pot and create problems. So they'll be let go in a couple minutes. What problems are they creating, sir? Well, when they were over there, they're at the corner over there. But they were just, uh, you know, Martin standing and chanting. It's hard to see you when you get the light. They, they were uh, standing and chanting. Were they chanting? Yeah. I didn't even hear them chanting. They were chanting a little bit. Yeah. They, okay, so they were just standing. And okay. Uh, I don't see the problem in that, sir. Well, I was talking to the people over there, and the deputies rolled up in the black and whites, and they detained them. So there is a sergeant with those guys. Obviously, my uniform's a little different than them. So I'm not sure why they did either. But uh, I think they're just getting their IDs and they're going to cut them loose in a minute. Yeah, I'm good. How long? Did they touch you at all? Nah. They didn't search your body or anything like uh, that? They searched me, didn't touch the, the groin area though. The main officer right there was saying that people here are from out of state. Are you from out of state? Nope, born and raised LA County. Yeah. Do you mind if we see, it's not, it's, we're not live or anything, I'm just recording, so I can edit it out. Like if we see, just, just to prove to people that this is bullshit. Oh yeah, here, I'll show you California ID. I'm gonna do this to each person because he just said that these people are. No, I heard that heard that one last night too, and I was like, everyone I know seems to be from around here. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Oh, just verifying. Absolutely. So there, that commanding officer was lying. Uh, oh, he's been lying all night. He lied the other night. I asked him why he wasn't, um, I mean, why his officers weren't wearing badges or name tags, why they covered it up, and he said it's not our place to know. I don't see how they can be civil servants if they're not even telling us. Did they touch you at all? I mean, you don't quick interview with all the protesters who um, got detained? Yeah, they did, like, they just put a, like put our hands behind our backs, searched us. They did get grabby with some of them, not me, but, like, uh, my lovely colleague over there in the black and all black in the weave. Um, they were getting a little grabby with her. Uh, and then they shoved us into a car, like three of us into one back, one tiny back seat. And then they just ran our records on, <laughs> couldn't find anything on me, which I found hilarious. Um, what else? And then they let us out. Um, Oh, I didn't mention how it happened. They just literally like drove up to us and they just started like, and then they just like, I don't know. They just started like taking us. <laughs> Can you, uh, so, so, so you guys are kind of like marching in a group or just walking in a group? We were, so we were marching in a group about a block this way. We um, dispersed and then we dispersed about a block that way. And then we were all just like in our own little groups and uh, I was waiting for, um, you know, uh, just, yeah, my ride. And uh, then they, and someone else was waiting for their ride too. I forgot who it was. Um, it was like me and one other person just waiting for our ride. And they were just with us because, you know, staying together. And then they just rocked up to us and took us, searched us, detained us for a bit, uh, shoved us in their cars. Yeah. Lovely experience, absolutely love. You know what, I'm just really grateful. Um, I might have some bruises on my knees from sitting in the car, but I'm just really grateful. It's not as bad as what Julian Assange has to go through or what Chelsea Manning went through or what Edward Snowden is going through or you know, what other protesters that were shot or arrested or fully arrested are going through. So, um, yeah. And question for you, are you a California resident? because the commanding officer was saying that all these protesters, he walked up to me and said that all these protesters are from different states and all that. Um, a large majority of us are California residents. I'm not personally, I'm still technically a Florida resident, but I go to school in California. But you know, all my info is still back at my home in South Florida. And, but no, like everybody here is from California. <laughs> Yeah, he told me that most people here are from out of state. Are you from out of state? I have a New York license, but I'm actually from California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he made it seem like all protesters were from out of the state. So, and I asked him, you know, what what, what oh. did they do wrong? They like want out of the state probably okay. to yeah. for their narrative. Hello, we were just detained. Um, we dispersed from our protest peacefully tonight. No one was injured or arrested. Um, and we like to wait and make sure everyone gets home safe and doesn't get kidnapped. Um, and we were just surrounded by an unmarked police vehicle and also other squad cars. We were all stripped of our belongings and patted down and put into police cars. And they gave us the excuse that there was a report that there was a gunman. And they, so they just had to take precaution. Um, Actually, in the beginning, they said I was being detained for standing in the street. Yeah, for standing That's in right. the street. That, that was their reason. But I then asked when the three detained. of us were in the car together, they, they ended up like changing mm -hmm. it to yeah. tell us that they were concerned about some gunmen. And you had that, yeah, they said that to you too, yeah. yeah. So. It could also be that we had a independent filmmaker here who helped. Yeah. Oh, Help, by yeah, filming by filming yeah. and making sure there was no Thank misconduct. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love the yeah. Who knows where so they could have gone? Yeah, <laughs> it's true, and that's again, that's why we're out here making sure we all get home safe. Because if it was just one of us, we all get. You may safe, never see that person or again. Or we all go yeah. in together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in this together, or nothing else. So. So the commanding officer was saying that uh, he, he walked over to me while you guys were in the car, and he said that. Uh, they were worried about people being from out of state. Uh, <laughs> I'm the only one in this. So just one and she just California. came out here to go to school. <laughs> so go to school. So yeah. everyone here is a California resident? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
know where it looked like. And again, LA, heart, like we have a ton of transplants in LA, but we're all local. So I still have my old Berkeley address and they're like, oh, you're not from here. I was like, no, I've lived here. We just haven't changed our addresses. Because of COVID, COVID and the DMV. Yeah. The line, yeah, yeah. everything, so. Okay. Yeah. And uh, was anyone really like, did they touch you inappropriately? Yeah. I've heard reports yeah. of, of that. Course. Just yeah. the girls mostly. I don't really have experience with Not that. Do you guys? Not so much as okay. you, especially yeah. because you had your uh, defense mechanism of falling to the ground. So mm -hmm. it was like. No, they, it was, yes, I was fondled up top. And then he had the audacity to ask me, do I have anything in my bra? And I had to tell him that I had breasts. So he now has an idea of the female anatomy. Yeah, he seems Which confused. is understandable. I know I look a little androgynous tonight, but I I am a cis female. Well, so, uh, just cisgendered female. Did he laugh? No, they were not amused. They were confused. I was uh, shot not he was taking responsibility point blank with a 40 millimeter fair round. Uh, that's a week ago. Um, what? It's a 40 millimeter, uh, it's called a ferret. Um, and ferrets are illegal in California, but you know, that's fine. Yes, sir. Um, and they, by, by the sheriffs, uh, point blank. And they, yes, sir. Uh, it was on my birthday. <laughs> this injury was from Wednesday, August 26th. And the, um, when they trapped us in the tunnel in downtown LA, I think it was like third and flower. Um, LAPD all of a sudden came up behind us and uh, we were too far into the tunnel by the time that we could get out. Sheriffs came on the other side of the tunnel and LAPD was talking to black leaders and trying to get us to disperse. We, uh, we obliged and we had nowhere to go. They wouldn't let us leave. They said disperse, but we couldn't go anywhere. Sheriffs were walking up down the other side of the tunnel, just like a, a row of terminators. Um, and they opened fire on us first. And so LAPD said, that's not LAPD, that's not us shooting. So if you're a police officer and you hear someone shooting and you know that it's not you guys, wouldn't you be alarmed? They shot me point blank when I was defending a man that was shot in the head and in the neck point blank and he went limp. And I grabbed him, I caught him from falling. I moved him into the group to protect him. I got back to the line. And by that time, they were beating up on a girl that was smaller than me, and I'm five foot three. Uh, and then they shot me point blank, and they threw me over them, and they kicked me, and they put their knees in my neck and my back, and I couldn't breathe. I actually couldn't breathe. Um, and then they shot me in the arm point blank with a pepper ball, and that's like it's mace or it's pepper spray, um, pepper pepper. Um, Good fucking god. And what's your how has this experience changed your point of view from the police before to now? Um, well, I mean, I kind of, I grew up in a, a poorer area, but I'm white. So in my family, it was like, if you need help, find a police officer, they'll help you. But then as I, you know, reached the age of nine, I realized they're not here to help you in the poor community. They're here to catch you in the poor community. They're not here to uplift anybody. They're not out here like we are dropping off ice to homeless people, feeding the homeless people, giving them water when it's 118 degrees. The cops aren't doing any outreach program to help protect and serve their communities. They're here to catch you and they're here to fuck you up and they're here to keep you here because that's where they like you. They don't want you to get ahead. And anything else? You have, I have 25 seconds left. Anything sure. else in your heart of hearts? Because you're, you're, I'd just like to hear what's there for you. Okay. To say oh, yeah. about this moment. Um, Tamara, if you ever see this, I miss you. And um, the rest of the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. And Black Lives Matter. Fuck Trump.